I'm pretty sure I have no problem going PP. Hi everyone, this is Lockdown Matt. Welcome to the Real Gamer Score Podcast. This week I'm joined by Jailbreakers Kirby. Hey! And Cameron. Hey! Here at Real Gamer Score, we like to discuss all things Xbox, achievements, and being big golden boys! Big golden boys! Big golden boys! This week we talk about learning to work the mines, breaking Brad, and Link summoning it all together. But first, here's the song of the week. Whoa! A long Tuesday night, finding lyrics that fit. I gotta ride my singing hit. I need to choose a song in my head. Sing it well, every week I dread. Chin doctor, chin doctor, what do we do? I got a bad case of singing like noobs. Need a song that people will guess. We got a bad case of singing like noobs. Oh. And again, like most weeks, if you don't get that one, what are you doing? Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I wish... I'd... Yeah, okay. Yes. That's, that's that is... That is... That's definitely the result of the Patreons not giving us enough money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, the singing lessons really, yeah, really aren't helping. Uh, but really I, apparently I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands. It, Matt's literally only been able to afford to pay me to provide him singing lessons. <laughs> so, I mean, this is what you get, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, if, if you know that song, make sure you send the, uh, the answer to Real Gamer Score or Chin. Or, I mean, just send it to Chen. He's not doing anything. Yeah. Um, really otherwise, he, he, yeah, otherwise, just send it to Real Game Score on uh, True Achievements. And you'll go in the draw to win the prize for February, which will be coming up shortly. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Prize for March. God, I'm losing track of my months already. Which, uh, which will be coming up in the next couple of episodes, since we're getting towards the end of March already. Yeah. Episode 86 mm. will be the draw. Great. Probably. Yeah, I mean, assuming we're all here. Um, oh well assuming at least one of us is here to do the show the rest of us are, you know as long as it's not Cameron no you well I mean to well, be fair I, I'm the only one of us that has access to PPE I mean look I'm the only one of us who can sing so I don't know what you guys are going to do for song of the week I'm, I'm not really going to be sure able to no sing with a face mask going PP <laughs> <laughs> oh god Oh, off to a flying start. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, no, I, I I really do feel it. This is what you missed last week. <sighs> yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, Chen. Good good to see you back. Mm. How you doing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm shut enjoying. up. Let's move on. Um, you definitely make up for the fact that you weren't here last week. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, five, five minutes in and I've already got the clip for the week. Um, if looks could kill. <laughs> All right, now if you want to hear more of our ridiculous nonsense, uh, make sure you contact us on Discord. Discord's, if you don't know what Discord is, it's a sort of online chat room in the vein of something like a uh, IQC or um, what's the other ones? I, you know what I'm talking about? Tinder. Tinder. Very, yeah, that's definitely very, what it's like. Yes, very much like. Uh, it's more. Like, I, I would say it's more like Grinder, but um, you know, the, you, you you get out what you put in, if you know what I mean. <laughs> If one of you uh, wants you to may- pretend to be a girl, we'd greatly appreciate it. <coughs> well, some of us would. <coughs> so, yeah, you can get in touch with us on the Discord, discord.io slash realgamerscore. Make sure you hit us up. We're always in there chatting, keeping up to date on the latest coronavirus news, and occasionally we talk about video games. Very occasionally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we've also got. Often. Yeah, no, not often. I mean, these days it's, you know, it's all just doom and gloom. Uh, Patreon shoutouts. Let's go. We've got uh, patreon.com slash realgamerscore is uh, Patreon. So if you want to give us some money so I can finally get those singing lessons that everyone's been begging me to get for the last 30 episodes. Um, I mean, we're probably going to need a fair amount of cash because I, I, I don't think one week's going to cut it. 
But if I'm in quarantine, we're in lockdown here by, uh, just in case anyone was wondering, in New Zealand, we're locked down for the next four weeks from tonight onwards. So I'm probably going to have plenty of time to work on my singing. And I'm sure Alison's going to appreciate it, aren't you, honey? Oh, yes. Yeah, no, she's got, she's got no room to talk. That she can't sing. Sound, that honestly just sounded like you were trying to pretend to be Alison. <laughs> no, she, sound, I mean, she, she is actually so over here. soundboard. Yeah, that Alison, was... you, have, you have to speak into the microphone, Alison. I did not consent. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, don't, hey, the, I didn't sign any consent to have this, my a, likeness yeah. being used. Kirby, just make sure to save that for a clip for later, yeah? yeah we can make that, a, that's a we can make that the new cat. Yeah, that's that's our new yeah. cat sound. Yeah. Oh God. I'm gonna to try not to swear too much on the show then. <laughs> Alright, we've also got the random to do list giveaway. Uh um, yes. I'll I'll Jen, how we how how are we doing how are we doing with that? Um so apparently I can't manage. The random to do list is a list of twenty five achievements. Uh soon probably to be bumping to thirty for some unrelated to anything else reason. Um just yeah, so did, that, did the idea just sort of nip you in the bud? Yeah, we just for some reason we just decided uh, that we'd probably be moving to thirty, and yeah, lo and behold, TA have pulled out an event for thirty random achievements. Um, I but, wonder where they got that idea from. Yeah, weird, crazy. Uh, but if you unlock an achievement on your random to-do list in the month of March and answer a trivia question of what is your favorite past present or future uh, xbox game studios title and that's not even really a trivia question it's just us getting to know you uh you go into the draw to win ori and the will of the wisps and probably a couple other random older codes that i have lying about that sort of we don't want to try and give away because they're they're reasonably old so you might win two or three titles so uh good on you there uh, if you haven't got a random to-do list, it is not too late. It will be too late next show, but it won't be too late from this show. Just uh, send a message on Discord to myself or at the RTDL admins in the random to-do list channel or friend request the random to-do list account on True Achievements. Uh, pretty simple stuff, and we'll get your list sorted. Uh, I guess now would be a good time to talk about crabs. Crab. The, yeah, I don't actually know what crabs. it stands for. Stuff that planting wants to spread to everybody, yeah? Yeah, but I mean, it? look, I mean, to be fair, like, it won't be the first time that planting's given me crabs. Um, Crazy I mean, random it's... achievement bash. No, I like our name better. Uh, sorry, what, what was our name that we came up with that'll definitely was, uh, not be cut? Coronavirus related achievement. I don't think it was bash, it was bundle balls or up? something. <laughs> Oh, I can't even remember. It was like 10 minutes ago. What's... Coronavirus... Corona-related achievement... Besieging? No. I don't even remember anymore. Bullseye? No, it wasn't Bullseye. I'm, I'm much more creative than that. Allegedly. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, so they've got a competition going there. Do you want to talk about it, Chin? I don't know anything about it. I just, I just yeah. work here. So it's uh, much like the random to-do list. You'll get 30 achievements... From your pool, well, much like a future random to-do list, you'll get 30 achievements from your pool on TA, uh, either in your collection or started games only. Um, you can pick which platforms you want, whether you want to be Xbox One, 360, uh, Windows, or backwards compatibility. You can have any combination of those, and either games you've started only or all games in your collection, and it ex- excludes some obvious stuff like um, anything unobtainable or discontinued or... I think they also exclude time-consuming because they want it to be nice. Um, and then you'll generate a list of 30 uh, ver- of a variety of achievements. If you manage to get at least 15, you will earn yourself a community challenge badge and some of you will finally be able to be uh, gold, big gold boys like me. Is that what we're big, calling ourselves now? Big gold boys? Yeah, it is. I don't, I don't think anyone has ever said the term mm-hmm. big gold boys in the history of the universe so um congrats on that yeah uh yeah we'll be big gold boys together and uh, hopefully they'll get sorted the slightly different badge for the hundred percenters um because that'd be nice but it's a look it's it's a i mean 
everyone who listens to us will be familiar with what this competition is. You shouldn't have too much trouble getting 15, especially if you curate a little bit. And Which hopefully we didn't. This, oh, we didn't. We, and maybe we'll uh, go through our list. Check, check the outtakes. And record. Well, yeah, that too. Maybe we'll properly go through our list tomorrow or something and um, record it and have a little discussion and that can be Patreon content. Yeah, sounds good. Probably won't because we're lazy, but look forward to that stuff you may or may not hear. In about six months. Yeah. But no, it, it's pretty good, pretty fun. Hopefully it will generate uh, interest from the TA community to come over to the random to-do list stuff and hopefully get more people there and then maybe, yeah, bring some more people to the podcast and stuff. Should be interesting. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just make sure you get your 15. Make sure you curate. Uh, make sure you don't get terrible, terrible lists like we did, and you'll be fine. And so you, you've got a month to earn 15 achievements, I think it is? Yes, a, a yeah. month from the 24th of April. So not a month from when you start. No, sorry, 24th of March. It ends on the 24th of April. So if you start on the 23rd of April, you're only you giving a, yourself a day. I was going to say, you've got a big day ahead of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's a month from the start of the competition, not from when you start the competition. So that's probably a good good clarifier there because I don't want people being like, oh, I started and I didn't get a month and Real Gamers got told me I had a month and they're liars and scum and kill them. <laughs> I mean, no more than usual anyway. Hey, only, yeah. usually only one third of the hosts receive death threats. Yeah, but I mean... That's, and it's that's usually by the Twitter. Hey, Trimmy. <laughs> yeah, look, it's your brother, all right? Just leave him alone. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the news. Um, obviously, we'd like to get away from the coronavirus and, and the doom and gloom and come up with some nice news stories, but realistically, uh, coronavirus is all that seems to be happening these days, uh, which is understandable. Um, mm-hmm. So, TA has asked uh, a, a biz, one of the analysts... What's, do we have his name there? Sorry, I haven't got it up. Uh, Stephen Bailey, a senior analyst who specialises in video games research. Uh, to ask about how the uh, how the coronavirus is going to potentially be affecting uh, Xbox Series X um, in terms of price and delays and, and what's happening in the market and what are, are things going to go to schedule? Now I've I've been saying that and if, and I'm just you know just I'm not saying that I was 100 percent right, uh, but I'm just saying that I have said this in the past that. We're probably not going to see delays in terms of the actual launch date, but it's going to be delays or it's going to be reductions in stock because I, mm. the amount of time that it takes to, to launch a console, I can't see them missing the date unless something catastrophic happens. So, but I, I just think it's like it's, they'll have an official launch and then also they'll have like five consoles. So no one will be able to buy one, but they will be out there with their marketing material at least. Um, mm-hmm. And then the other bit is around how much it's going to cost. Their thing traditionally video game consoles have been sold at a loss they used to be at least so i mean the the talk in the article is that the the playstation 3 obviously we don't know the exact cost but the um the old 20 gigs and 60 gig model of the original playstation 3 reportedly cost 800 dollars to manufacture and they sold them for 500 and 600 bucks so they lost sony lost 200 bucks on every one of those that they sold I mean, luckily, you know, the, they make the money up on the games and the services, like any consoles. But apparently, the um, the PS4 and the Xbox One actually they made a little bit of money on it. I'm wondering, but I'm wondering if that's going to be but, viable for them to do in this market because I don't think, like, if, if especially like now with with the way the economy is going, if you pitch a console at 600 bucks, I don't know how many people are going to be buying it. But saying that though they're saying that when the xbox one first came around 471 dollars to manufacture and was sold for 499 not taking into consideration uh shipping marketing everything else that would oh sure yeah 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 absolutely yeah having useless peripherals costs probably added like stress costs and counseling costs and (laughs) and 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 trips to a and e Uh uh-huh the only yeah, positive and... thing is I would follow you around the room whilst you're stressing out about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cameron, what do, what do you think? I mean, we've, we've obviously talked about the new consoles a lot as, as it is the... Uh, as people are getting pretty excited about them, but what are you, what are you thinking um, Look, in terms of I'm, prices? I'm going to I'm gonna just uh, proceed this by saying, like, the Psychics events that have been cancelled, 
due to unforeseen circumstances in the past. <laughs> um, Phil Spencer will be the only one for the console next year. Yep. Um, everything will be delayed. No. But in all seriousness, um, it's going to be one of those things that there will be shortages. It'll be... It'll be interesting to see how supply and demand works next year, especially after something like this. Mm. There is no I mean, supply and we demand it. Well, the thing, do we demand it, is the question. I mean, I've, I've known a fair few people that have been laid off in recent days and I know that their mind is immediately going to, hey, this is the perfect time to get a new console. Other than Brad. Brad is the only one. <laughs> but also, he hasn't I, been laid I, off I, I, for the last few I, days. Also, he, I, he I was, was going to call him out, but okay, that's fine. We'll just name, we'll just name and shame. That's fine. That's okay. He's going <laughs> to, he's going to be console. Fast. He doesn't care. Yeah, that's true. Actually, he's he's going to be he's going to be pl- he's going to be the only one in Australia to have one. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, because that's it. it's it's going to push like if if it launches at five hundred dollars, which is what we're all expecting, four ninety nine. Yeah, mate. Five hundred US. Yeah. 500 US. Yes, yeah. yeah, cool. Just want to reiterate that. I mean, that. possibly 600, but that I, no, I think no, that's, I, that's I, death. I just at, don't think. Like, I mean, like that would only work as if, if maybe they sold the ex- edit with the expandable memory included. Yeah. The extra and terabyte. That, yeah, yeah. And even then, and they, like, they would lose money on that too. They would only do that if PlayStation has already come out with an announcement too. Yeah. Because at, this, uh, at the moment, it's just waiting for the other... Other party to show their hand. Mm-hmm. So okay, four, we're working on four ninety nine US as the as our. Uh, that's definitely what the price is. Now, yeah. saying that, conversion rate. Yeah, I yeah, know where us, you're going with this. That puts the price in six months time. Six months. Yeah, six months time. About that. Seven months. Whatever. Yeah. That puts the price at maybe twelve hundred. Yeah. Well, I mean, once I'm you hot- exchange the. Pr- like they're not going to, but a straight a flat exchange rate. I, I mean, right now it's about I mean, a thousand. What, yeah, right now it'd be about a thousand, but you would hope by then the, the economy would have recovered somewhat. I mean, six months is a fair amount of time, and I mean, again, as as with everything, it depends on how we are with the coronavirus situation. Yeah, if, Which if, I, if we're, I don't you know, see getting better in six months. Like, I, I mean, think... hopefully, hopefully we're on the tail end of it by six months, and we have some good progress. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Sa- saying okay. that though, to sorry to interrupt, um, your progress might completely be different to our progress too. This is very true. Yes, and and, and again, the the US itself may not be in a great spot. So I mean, because like if you look at exchange rates, if the if the US dollar tanks, that's potentially quite good for Australia and New Zealand in terms of in terms of mm. exchange rates. Uh, if because if we're buying the consoles, if the consoles are being um, imported, which they will be. They're just all of our economies are tanking at the same time, so it's sort of just it's status it's kind quo of a, in, a, in a way. Exactly, and yeah, no one has a job. Yes, yeah. so I mean, what are the? I think I think the PlayStation Three came out here at at, at twelve hundred New Zealand because yeah. it was six hundred thousand for the sixty yeah. gig in Australia. Yeah, so I think eight, or, yeah. I think realistically, you're probably going to look at like a. I think it might be an eight nine nine situation over here. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. might maybe maybe a nine 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 at the most because the thing is like I, like people just aren't going to buy it at that price like there's no like th- th- that's the other thing is that because we work we live in a global market these days everyone knows some, what the prices are exactly and, and mm. that's the thing is that the Microsoft and Sony may have to potentially take a slightly larger loss in maybe say our section mm. our region but a to but make it up in another one by by putting some prices up somewhere else. Because could realistic, you, yeah. I was going to say, could you see them potentially doing something like throw in some justification for the cost, like seeing how dire things are at the moment? I don't want to say dire, but like sure. seeing how things are trending at the moment of going of like, all right, well, you know, the console is going to launch at a price point of seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. However, we're going to chuck in twelve months of Game Pass for free. We're going to oh yeah, soften the, the, the deal I mean, a little. Pa- pa- pack-ins are what it's all about, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, have a justification for that cost after everything that's happened. Why didn't she go to work? <laughs> Allison, be quiet. We're busy people doing busy <laughs> things. Al- sorry, I-, I bought Allison a copy of The Sims. 
And you now she's complaining that her sim is not going to work. There's a copy of Animal Crossing. She's yeah. She, she's no, feeling she's, she's feeling Bill's guide, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, she's definitely feeling Bill's guide to get all the achievements in three hours. That's yep. Yeah, cool. She's on top of it. Um Yeah, thanks, Widow. Um <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, um have you, yeah. have you have you ever thought, Alison, that the reason she's not going to work isn't because of her? <laughs> Maybe if you took care of her needs, she'd want to go to work. I mean, to be fair, like most people have to go to work anyway. Yeah. I mean, I mean, for all us without a job, our Sims are the only ones that give us hope. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, th- thinking about the exchange rate. Like yeah, they'll definitely have to do a pack in. Like that's that's going to be the thing. I mean, that's that's how you get early adopters in. Is that you give them a year of Game Pass Ultimate, which they probably already have, but you might as well. Um, you give them a free copy of the new Forza with it. Oh, and a, yes. Of course. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You you leave your opinions to yourself. Man, sir. those 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 tires, they are so round these days. It's like those graphics. They just get they got those tires so round. Beautiful. Yeah. Every, I can't every... wait to give away four copies of Forza Horizon, uh, Forza Motorsport Eight on the podcast. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for Forza Horizon Tokyo Drift. <laughs> four Forza, four Furious. Um, <laughs> the fate of Fro- fate of Horizon. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd, I'd watch. Yeah, I'd watch. I'd watch Forza Five. Um, yeah, I mean, look, that's that's how they'll do it, right? And and what they'll do is they'll give it away as a code rather than a disc. So, mm-hmm. and because it's the Microsoft Studios, they won't care. They'll get people onto the console, and they'll probably have those damn day one achievements all over again. Oh yeah, I'm getting one of those. I don't know if I'll use it, but I'll get one. Ooh. Yeah, that's the yeah. So we shall see. But I think that I think that they'll have to do some very competitive pricing in this market because otherwise they're just not going to sell any consoles. Mm. As and, much and, as and it, I, I mean, for, for Microsoft and Sony at this point, because realistically, the consoles are going to be within relatively, within spitting distance of their prices, right? They're going to have to be. Yeah, it's, it's a tough call. As much as it doesn't affect me, I've just looked up the prices to see if they've changed for the DLC code. I already had the achievement, so it's all good. Oh, for the Xbox One day day yeah. one code. Cheapest one is two hundred, and the most expensive one I can see here is six hundred. Oh boy! They're from why are they always from Germany? Because Germans don't care about your achievements. They don't care about video games, man. Have you seen them? They just yeah, just hoarding. I use the heavy box to weight lift. <laughs> <laughs> it's my door stop <laughs> and my dumbbell. All right. Um, but yeah, okay, so, I mean, it, so, can you look up how much a day one China con- uh, controller is? Oh god! Uh, yeah, give me two seconds. All right, go on, Matt. So yeah, so Sony have said that the PS5 won't suffer a delay because of the virus, and Microsoft is still targeting the holiday window. And yeah, I think we are narrowed still... it even to winter, like you know, holiday yeah. was always that time, but like they've said winter. Yeah, they've 2020. basically said November, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like. We the, we are starting to think, see production pick up back in China again. So, I, like I, I'm thinking, like this might not be a question of do we get the console. It's going to be a question of can we find one and is it and is it affordable? Mm-hmm. Which is a different yeah. discussion than what we've been having. I mean, it, 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 it's 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 further down the line, but I mean, at least they'll be around, so you can go look at one and and you know you can touch it. Or you know, break into a yeah. store and steal it. I mean, whatever you want. I mean, you know, like that's, I'm, I'm not not that I would advocate that, but I'm just saying, you know, like if they're there and they're not going to give you one, like what are you supposed to do? Like not buy it? Yeah. Like, am I not supposed to run off when I say, "Can I have a quick look at it and and grab it and then run?" Yeah, I'll find. And realize it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's, you just have to oh. do that on multiple stores. It just be a kettle cable. Should be right. I know. <laughs> I know. We didn't talk. This this whole conversation, I know we didn't put it in the news, but it's just reminded me of GameStop this week. Oh yeah, you want to talk about that? Um, I'm just like, should we should we just have a quick yeah, discussion? Yeah. So GameStop this week, what's what's the go? United States? Are they open? Are they closed? No, they're definitely closed. Unfortunately, 
I don't know where I'm going to get my games anymore. Yeah. That, which was <laughs> damn essential to my to my lockdown. Like. Yeah, exactly. Your your American game store. How are you going to get your games? Mm-hmm. I, I I like though all the articles coming out of just like oh even though the governor's like saying yeah they're definitely meant to be shut down. GameStop's like yeah no 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 bros it's it's all good we'll just. We'll just keep them out of the stores, and then if you need a game, we'll just get it out of the back and come outside for you. Yeah, oh, well, so they had, they we're going to have curb drop off, which hey, yeah. that might get around it. But to be fair, their their justification for being an essential <laughs> business that needs to remain open was that they sold webcams and like keyboards oh, and stuff for like, communications. Like it wasn't uh-huh. even the video game stuff. They weren't like, hey, people need to play our games, otherwise they'll die. It's like no, like like we we encourage communications. It's like seriously, who the hell's ever bought a, a webcam? From games, from GameStop, from all places. Twelve-year-olds, yeah, exactly. Like I don't know, like yeah, somebody so. that doesn't have enough common sense to buy it elsewhere. And it's really exactly. weird that they made the decision to shut their stores after Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing. Like that's a yeah, weird that's, decision. That weird is, yeah, timing, that's but, you know, just yeah, coincidence. Right. And the fact and that then, there are also no major releases coming out for the next mm-hmm. what? I mean, it feels like the next hundred years. Yeah. And just adding on to that quickly, the five game launches that got moved forward because of this too. Oh, really? What ones we got? Uh, Persona 5, I want to say. Persona 5 Royal. Persona 5 Royal, And Which has had good reviews. Yeah, so I've heard. I want to say Dirt Road 2.0 or something along those lines, and then four other titles. I can't think of the others. No. I mean, that's that's interesting to see it moved forward. It's just... Forward or back? Significant. No, forward. brought forward. No, brought forward. Interesting. I'm wondering if a lot of those are imports or like localization pieces that have been done for a while and they were just waiting on the right time to release them. Weird. I mean, if you're um, going to release games now, it's probably a pretty good time to do it. People are not going to have much time to uh, like much else to do. Sorry. Yeah. Persona Five Royal release mm-hmm. date moved forward to today in today. Australia. Oh, all right. Um, the game was originally supposed to release on the 31st, but EB Games is selling it right now in stores and online. It's unclear why the release date was moved forward, and this doesn't seem to have happened in other parts of the world. I'm wondering if they're release... just breaking st- street date and just saying screw it. Yeah. Um, reached out to five star. I know there was five other games, and I'm just trying to find where the article is. That's all right. The, the, the interesting thing is that even though GameStop was not the only one to do this, they were the ones that got all the attention brought on them. Yeah. I mean, quite rightly, because they were all pretty much flaunting it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just, it, it is very interesting to see how... I mean, they're because they're so already to have such a negative connotation in the community mm. that that was what got piled on, as opposed to many other places doing similar things. Yeah, just got brushed under the table. Yeah, of course. Which you know, a lot of stuff's going to get missed. Found yeah. the found the list. So yeah. Persona Five Royal moved to today from the thirty first of March. Dirt yeah. Rally Two Point Game of the Year March twenty seventh um, moved forward to today. Um, yeah, uh, all of these were meant to release on twenty seventh onwards. Saints Row Four reelected on the Switch. Uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors Four. Uh, Gigantosaurus on the Switch and La La Milana 1 and 2 oh okay Okay. yeah alright also on the Switch but yeah a little bit of interesting I guess side news with EB yeah Hmm. slash GameStop slash will they be open next week well I mean who knows right alright they will They'll be like, they'll be open. They they don't care. They'll they'll, they'll start selling sanitizer. That's <laughs> they'll, they'll 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 have PPE with uh, with video game characters on it. Yeah, they'll oh, start selling the sanitizer they, they were supposed to be providing earlier that never came through. They yeah. will they will get that one collector's edition of um, Metro Exodus that they had out the back with the face mask in it. Yeah. That one, exactly. that one leftover copy that just justifies them staying open for another week. Well, I also saw that Nintendo donated a huge amount of uh, of uh, face masks recently as well. Um, it's good, which is oh, good. If, so. if they aren't Animal Crossing themed with like the mouths of some of the <laughs> villagers, I'm going to be really annoyed. Uh, yeah, well, prepare to be annoyed. I believe they're just regular ones for saving lives or whatever. 
useless Nintendo. Oh. You had an opportunity to market and you didn't. That's disappointing, Nintendo. How dare you do the right thing and not be like all your other gaming brethren? <laughs> I think I think this is the one time where you could potentially, um, as a brand, market something like that and just get away with it, just because of the the demand for it. Yeah, you got to be a little bit careful around now. Um, it, it, I'm gonna, it, it, yeah, it'd be it'd be walking a fine line, but it'd be like, look, I don't I don't care that they're pushing their brand or whatever. We just need these masks. I think yeah, yeah I, I guess. Will, Animal yeah. Crossing face masks, you'd get away with a bit more because if you didn't know, you would just... Like, there's plenty of dumb face masks like that sure. out there already. Yeah, yeah, was, so you yeah. wouldn't know unless you know. And, and I, you know, you know, you say, ah, oh, yeah, that's cute. It's not encouraging me to buy Animal Crossing any more or less, you know. It's just, ah, oh, yeah, that's a cool thing they did. And it looks, yeah. I, I reckon they could have got away with it. As long as mm. that was all they did. They didn't be like... Oh, look at our Animal Crossing! Mu- uh, you know, had a logo on it or something. I'm like, oh, yeah. here's a bunch of Animal Crossing face masks um, mm. based on Animal Crossing, which just released last week. So, Animal Crossing face masks. Stay healthy, kids. Stay healthy. Buy a Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. So. <laughs> and so, this mm. other article you put in here, Cameron, about the uh, Minecraft stuff. All right. So I put two in here just to quickly discuss um so two parts of the story um one because of the coronavirus and everything a lot of resources regardless of it being xbox um i'll talk briefly youtube for example youtube um have downgraded their streaming to cater to the larger demand they're experiencing yeah they lowered the default to standard definition so you can still change it to hd 1080p whatever but the default was now, uh, I guess, 480 is what standard definition is. Oh, okay, is. wow, yeah. I so, believe to PlayStation also uh, limited their downloads. Something along those lines. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. throttled. Yeah, throttled their download speeds. Um, and then, I mean, if you've been on Xbox in the last week, I believe we've had three ish- major issues, I want to say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We had we had quite a few. It was um, yeah. There was definitely some issues with achievements. Was the the main one that I saw. So achievements was one of the main ones. Um, I think there was something wrong with parties the other day and something yeah. else. But basically, Phil Spencer's just come out to reassure fans that the company's working hard to ensure the online gaming services remain. Um, just yeah, due to all the, I guess, demand that they're experiencing. Um. I mean, what else is there to do but sitting uh, sitting home? Nobody's going to talk to their loved ones or anything no, else. We're just all not. we're all going to retreat to video games. I Some mean, of us like, don't do, have do loved we... ones, Cameron. Yeah, I, I was going to say. I mean, actually, I'm not going to finish that sentence because she's sitting right here. Um... <laughs> Some of us wish yep. we didn't have loved ones, Cameron. <laughs> Sorry. Some of Maybe. us wish our loved ones would just shut up for once. <laughs> <laughs> not naming names, but just some of us. Runs with map. Oh god. All right. Um, yeah. So I mean, we we did. Uh, what? Yeah. What? What else are people going to do? Right. I mean, Steam mm. saw their largest concurrent users ever with mm. tw- twenty million people. Like they smashed the old record. Like things mm. are getting nuts. That's that's all people are going to do is play video games. I mean, we you know we've all been practicing for social distancing for years. So I'm glad our skills are finally going to come into use. But, I mean, the servers are going to really have to hold up. Yeah, yeah I mean, like... Not. Like, if we go down for a week, we're just, it's going to be absolute anarchy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, it's, cats and dogs living together, it'll be it'll be unbelievable. I might have like, to open my Ori and the Will of the Wisps Collector's Edition to play it offline. Yeah, yeah you, but, won't be, you won't be doing that. No, yeah, definitely not. I mean, that like, might, like, though. Like, <laughs> we we said we said anarchy, like not you know Armageddon. Right. Yeah, that's like just... another two weeks away. <laughs> I might have to play Dynasty Warriors Nine because I've got it physical. Oh, God. oh well, that's that's right. Yeah, I mean, you know, that'll last you the whole quarantine, <laughs> one way one way or another. Yeah. Mo- moving on, um, good guy, I guess. Good guy, Phil. Good good, good um, guy, Phil. I want to no, see. I, I, I want to see. I, I want to see that as, as known. <laughs> good guy, Phil, as he's known. <laughs> 
Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that's um, what they at, e, at E3 shows. That's what they put on his little name thing when it shows up. Good guy Phil, not his last name, not what he does or where he works. Just yeah. good guy Phil. Good guy Phil. Um, like like you'd know him any other way. He's always yeah, been enough. good guy Phil. Um, so look, I don't know if it's Phil's responsibility. Da da da. Um, basically, the Minecraft Education Edition that was originally just designed for schools and that mm-hmm. is being made for it's being made available for the Bedrock version of the game. What does this mean? This means that kids at home can have access to a variety of different things. Um, they they can get free Minecraft. Visit. Yeah, free Minecraft free... education. Trust me, they just get free Minecraft. They just get free. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, there are suppo- many things you could do in education Minecraft. They just get free Minecraft. Okay, that's 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 <laughs> what they do with it. Is they use Minecraft? <laughs> like you, you can you can do a lot. You can set up lessons to do with. Math, like math and geometry and stuff, but the kids just play Minecraft. Fair enough. I mean, so, what, yeah, you know, like it's. Uh, I mean, the, whatever. Is there is, is there any way into forcing them to to be learning during this, or is it just absolute? I mean, they're learning how Minecraft. much they love to play Minecraft. What else? Could, what else do they need to know? Well, like, they're all, they're all going to be famous streamers one day. The like, other I, thing, I, you know, the other thing is the kids know the uh, commands a lot better than the teachers will. So the kids literally just break out of whatever they're in <laughs> and, and, and Today, spawn a, a sheet of 100 blocks of TNT and just... Yeah, I was going to say, t- today, today, kids, we're going to learn about sedimentary rocks. It's like, no, we're not. We're going to learn about how fun it is to fight creepers and go into the nether. It's li- yeah, yeah. I'm just imagining some weird version of um, the Magic School Bus. <laughs> 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 And then all these kids getting blown up due to TNT. You know that ginger kid's becoming a creeper. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, they don't have but um, Arnold. Yeah, some of, some of the supposed okay. purpose su- supposed purposes that this was oh, intended no. to do. What? Sorry. What? Was um to visit the International Space Station or to explore the human eye. Learn about renewable energy, Greek history, and marine biology, and more. Um, pretty much, this is going to be available to any version of Minecraft, whether it be Switch, PS4, Xbox, Windows, VR, Android, or iOS. Oh. Except it doesn't say Kindle there. I've misunderstood this. I thought it meant anyone could just get Minecraft Education, not they're putting Minecraft Education into Bedrock. I've misunderstood that. Yeah, you're not getting okay. free Minecraft. You have to pay for that Minecraft, and then you might learn. You won't, because you've already got Minecraft, but you have the potential to learn. Yeah, so basically this is available till um, 30th of June or until the world burns over. Great. Yeah. Whichever comes first. <laughs> oh, man. But, um, but look, that, I mean, the gesture is more important than the... I think that that's what we'll remember rather than what the actual oh, yeah exactly product was. Yeah, and I'm just trying to see if they've done anything else. Um, pretty much, he just talks about like family settings and that helping parents to choose screen time limits. Yeah, garbage people. <laughs> so kids don't go spending five hundred dollars on Fortnite when they just lost their job. That's not a. How, how many no, kids. kids are you Kid. employing, Cameron? <laughs> I don't think that's legal, buddy. I don't work in fast food anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Right, well, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I definitely think it's a good thing for them to be doing. I'm, I'm glad they're doing it. it. It's, um... We'll, 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 I mean, it, the, yeah, you're right. It does seem more like just like a regular sort of gesture as opposed to actually doing anything. But hey, you know, swings and roundabouts. Mm-hmm. So we'll take what we can get in these trying times. That's exactly it. All right. Um, are we still doing the G-Task roundup? I'm pretty pretty sure <laughs> you said maybe. you just don't care anymore, and they should they should all really um, let me just check give if it anyone up died. Right maybe not. Please. Maybe not the best choice of words right now, Chen. But that's fine. Let me check if anyone got eliminated. Yeah, maybe, still maybe not the best choice of words, Jen. Let me check if um, anyone uh, decided to quit G-Task. Yeah, okay, fair. That's, prob- that's probably safe. That we, don't, we don't want to get yeah. cancelled. Um, I only have three teams left, so I think someone quit last week. Yeah, we, did, we didn't We did cover that. I couldn't be bothered. That's all right. 
Uh, what is the date today? 25th, and it's uh, today the 23rd, uh, math, 3, 16th. Uh, Fug got eliminated Aww. from the individual last week. Um, can't see anything else, but see Boo, Fug, yay, everyone else. Ah, <laughs> uh, slightly unfortunate. Look, he made it further than us. That's... I mean, yeah, but I mean, that's, I don't know if that, that's, that doesn't sound like a good thing, really. But, it's not an yeah. achievement. That's just no, I was gonna say, we, we, you get to week 10 and that's it. Yeah, we, we, I mean, the, 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 I'm, as far as I'm concerned, the competition ended at week 10. That's yeah, pretty we're much all it. winners, everyone who made it that far. Yeah. So if you didn't, you're awful. Uh, so yeah. All right. Other than other than that, pretty much who who's left now? Like uh, not who's left. Uh, how many people are left? If you're asking me questions that I don't have the capacity to answer. Um, damn it. Okay. Damn it, do we care anymore? Is this going to be recurring? Hold up. No, I do care. Okay. Cool. Twenty one teams sure. with one yep. team being eliminated each week, and there are forty one individuals with four going out each week at the moment. Okay. So teams will be down to one for the rest of the season until we get to the second last week where we get down to ten. However many get eliminated, get eliminated, and then the finals. Yeah. Wait. No, it's ten individual, five teams. So, yeah. Second last week knocks out everyone except for the top five, and then mm. you have the finals. That'd okay. be interesting. interesting. N- knives indeed. are out. They, they are out, and they do more damage if they're thrown. I'll just point that out, guys. <laughs> Make right, sure well, you pick them up. Only, only if they come back to you. Yeah, exactly. Make sure you tie a bit of string on the end of them. Speaking of, um, of throwing us throwing knives at things, uh, what have you been playing, Chin? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not, prepared. Not Definitely inside the playable area. Edge to open up Trello. <laughs> did I write? I did put him in. All right. You did. So I wasn't here last Return, week, so I just want to talk about Return to the playable area. What? <laughs> Look, Shadow, Shadow, if, if anyone's wandering outside the playable area, it's you, mate. I <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that when we get to it. Okay. Um, I want to talk about the two games I didn't get to mention last week because I wasn't on the show. Uh, I did the Shenmue 1 and 2 on the Windows 10 to get that done before it left Game Pass. Why do you drive Rio like a car? Yeah, I, I don't know. They, I mean, I thought we, we, games have come a long way since then, but they are totally I thought nice. the run was like a toggle thing, so if you move without it, you walk... If you move with it, you run. Not, it runs forward. So essentially, you're yeah, accelerating it just, it just a car. Charges forward. Yeah. Oh. Yep. It's like it's like the, I think they started the game with the forklift controls and then just mapped them onto to Rio rather than the other way yeah. around. And see, I I liked because I'm that kind of terrible person. I really enjoyed the forklift bit. Like it was just I just I had a task. I could just do it. I didn't have to think. It was nice and easy, and just got it done. It's great. Um, mm-hmm. The combat was terrible in both games, but at least in the second game you had a health bar, even though the health bar, if it wasn't big enough to show all their health, wouldn't, like, scale. So if they had, it, yeah. like, if the health bar showed 10 points of health and they had 20, you just wouldn't see him taking any damage until you got down to the last 10. So... In, tr- in true classic old game yeah, style. That, you're just like, wow, I guess this guy's invincible. Yeah, I, and that's the thing. I don't know that I'm doing any damage with this. Oh, okay, yeah, I am. I am doing damage with this. Um, yeah, the second last fight in Shenmue was dumb with the whatever crab guy, Gollum. Oh, yeah, that fight I mean, sucks. it wasn't terrible, but it was just annoying. Um, yeah. And then in Shenmue 2, I found the combat really inconsistent. Like... I basically went through the whole game just mashing punch and dodge or block, yep. except for the one time where you accidentally auto target the guy who can block and then you punch him once and then get beat and he blocks you and you get beaten down by the four guys around him. Yeah, so you got to make sure you leave him yeah. for last. Which is not easy when the targeting is so terrible. Like, is there a. There's no lock on mechanism, is there? Look, I don't know. Like at this point, I have no idea. Like, I, I really, I stumbled my way through that game, quite literally, when I was carrying those damn books. But, like, I don't know. That that game's a mess, and 
it has not aged well in any way, shape, or form. And apparently Shenmue 3, the new one that just came out, is apparently, like, just exactly the same game, except with slightly up It's graphics. as if like they it's just made as... the game... Yeah. Like, if they started the game after Shenmue 2 was released, did it for a year, and then had released it then, and just decided not to. Yeah, basically. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. I mean, like, like it's 100% what the fans wanted, apparently. Catching chickens or whatever it is. Yeah, in uh, whatever the village is. By Bailu. Yeah. Is it? yeah, I don't remember, but yeah. I, as um, I'm walking with... Those, those, those games are not good. Yeah, no, they're not. I'm, I'm, I'm on the home stretch. I'm walking with this chick. Man, there's a lot of story I could list to. Let's hurry on. Shenhua, yes? Yep, yep, let's, let's hurry, hurry on. on. Let's hurry on. Shenhua, Yes. And let's then hurry on. Make sure, and then let's do some running, but make sure you get your quick time events right. Otherwise, you have to repeat it like five times. And yeah, it was some of them like the obvious left was le- like the obvious left and rights were obvious. It was the like the the Y one where you had to jump over the rock that I would always stuff up because <laughs> I couldn't tell whether she was just doing an up jump or a Y jump. You know, it's, you need, yeah, no idea. Yeah, not great. Um, got through it pretty easily though. Didn't have too much trouble. Um, I think skipping the cutscenes on the console version potentially stops you unlocking achievements. So, like, as in, if you skip the cutscene that the achievement is related to, you won't get the achievement because it triggers in the cutscene as opposed to when you... So, I think for leaving Hong Kong is one of them. If you... Uh, yeah. yeah. If you skip that, I, th- I think I'd be like I-, I just watched it because it was the first time I ever played it, so I'm wondering yeah. how that would work. It's not an issue on the Windows mm-hmm. version. I basically skipped everything, um, but I-, I know it's an issue on the Xbox version. Uh, and gotcha. also finished all of my artifacts, my final artifacts Monday game until they released this new one a couple days ago. <laughs> so I was done, and they pulled me back in. That's definitely... Mm-hmm. That's how that quote goes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we did start boosting... Boosting. We co-op played Dead Island a bit um, while we were doing that, though. We played Lazy Galaxy The Rebel Story, didn't we, Matt? Oh, uh, yeah, we did. That's... Um, lazy is the operative word, Oh, right? yeah. That was... A playthrough would have been fine. Yeah, like it, it, like in terms of a game, in terms of game itself, it is an inoffensive side-scrolling yeah. shooter that is very short but quite simple. Yes, it's nothing too crazy about it. It just it's and and a playthrough took fifteen twenty minutes maybe. Yeah, I mean depending on how good you are, yeah, you should be able like to get through twenty minutes, thirty but thirty minutes. Yeah, a flawless tops. run should take about that, um, and then you have to repeat the first mission. About a hundred times up until the first little bit to get all these relationships up, and and yeah, you were there. So there are six compan six companions in yourself. So potentially six people you can build up friendships with to max, and you had to max out four people in total. So um, four people had to have each other person maxed out, which left three people who weren't maxed out with everyone, and it was weird to do four. Like, it was weird that that was mm. the number, and not... Especially because you can only have two allies with you at a mm-hmm. time. So you would think maybe if you do the main character and two others, that might work. Yep. Uh, or if it was going to be all of them, if they were just going to go a whole hog. Yeah. Four is weird because then you have to spend... Like, like you, you build up three relationships completely, and then spend the other rest of it just doing one person with each other person that's yeah see and the, and you just play the same 30 second segment of the very first level over and over and over again yeah i'm just gonna turn my light on because i'm just getting dark um so i did that got that done pretty cruisy it was all right got 180 meg off my hard drive or whatever it is <laughs> uh finished off life is strange 2 on the weekend uh, okay, so I'm curious because I'm curious to think what you what your thoughts are on that. I, I it it gets super dark, like it it, mm, it it does. A lot of those moments are super dark and just weird to deal with. 
Um, so I'd done up to episode three, so I was just finishing off four and five and then mopping up the collectibles. Four, yeah. Again, I don't want to spoil anything. That was a, a whole weird situation, and I don't, I don't really know how it fit with everything. Yeah, and like, and so, so I, I, when I was playing through it, like, obviously, I didn't want to spoil it when I talked about it on the sh- on the podcast. But do you do you kind of get what I mean when I said like it felt like it was like, like it was like a Nicolas Cage movie that that whole basically that whole fourth episode. Yeah. Where it was like, like, what the hell is going on? How, what, like, like it, it felt like it was some, like something completely out of left they field. They just did a spin-off episode in the middle of this main story arc. Yeah, it, it was. It was like the second to last episode of season two of um, Stranger Things, where she goes off and does her own thing for an episode for yeah. some reason. Yeah, yeah. Just to completely out of nowhere, they're just like, hey, let's just do this this weird side thing. It, I guess it's that doesn't really have any relation to the main plot. I guess it's to build character development with specific characters that we hadn't seen but even then yeah, yeah. that doesn't pay off anywhere like that, that pay, within I mean, it, the episode pays really. off and that's it really yeah oh. pretty much and then you just go into the next episode I mean like there is a little bit in the fifth episode but yeah I know what you mean It obviously we're talking in circles here because the game's very narrative driven and we don't want to ruin yeah. anything for people but it really like I, mean, I quite like the last episode for the most part it did feel quite short mm-hmm. yeah um, but it, but it was that but, was a lot uh, better yeah. than yeah some of the others. the The cameo threw me off completely. Like I I saw the name and I was like, ah, oh, weird. And I saw it. I'm like, really weird. And then it cl- like it it clicked. And then <laughs> that person started talking about things that obviously were related. I'm like, yep. oh yeah, yeah, okay. So what what choice did you make? Um, because it asks you at the beginning. I made the cannon choice, and and killed off. Okay, right. So yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. that's the that's the cannon choice. I killed off um, Chloe. Yeah, yeah, Chloe. Yeah. So yeah, that was it. And that's I'd forgotten I'd made that choice at the start because that came came up in conversation and went. Oh, I guess they've decided that that's the cannon ending. <laughs> I mean, like, it, like it pretty clearly is the canon ending. I went with the non-canon ending because screw everything. Yeah. I wanted to see what happened. Um, yeah. So, like, what was his justification for being there? Um, I, I can't even remember. Like, I don't think he because, like, he because he just yeah left when. No, okay. At this point, it's it's done. Um. Essentially, when Chloe got killed, there was a rift at like in between him and his wife partner, and, wife partner. Yeah, and they just they just separated and, and moved on. Like they couldn't. They, oh, okay. And I think they still they were in contact still, but it just that rift of that event happening. They could they couldn't overcome that as a couple. Or in a, as a relationship. Interesting, because I mean, like obviously they had to have a, a similar reason for him to be there for the other yeah. choice. So I was just curious to see how they how they managed it. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. So so overall, what did you think? What did you think? What what do you think of the ending? How did you think they sort of handled it? They they definitely touch on some pretty charged topics on in the the last part of the fifth episode. Yeah, that was uh, that was some spicy spicy <laughs> topics. Um, I crossed the border as my final decision. I don't know what you did. Yep. Yep, I did too. And I'm kind of wishing I didn't uninstall because I now I want to go back and see the other ending because I I forgot that I could chapter select as I chapter select to get the collectibles. Um, uh, right. So I kind of want to. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could just do that. Yeah, but all my other decisions won't. Yeah, I mean, I can tell. I can tell you what happens. I've seen all the endings. But yeah. yeah. So. Um. Yeah, that was a. That was an interesting. The ending sequence following that as well was quite interesting to see the garage and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But man, that uh, that touch the pen with the pen thing. Oh boy. <laughs> that was honestly a good 20 minutes of trying to line it up. If... Yeah, I, I, str- I, like, I, I struggle with it too and, and like I have perfect vision and I still couldn't do it. I got, I got the first one. Yeah. 
but the second one, the, the depth perception, but I just could not yeah. do. It's, I'm like, man, this is this is too real for me right now. I need to stop playing these video games. Oh, I, I think it was, I think it was a lot stronger than the first game, but I also think that's because the issues it brought up were not necessarily more relevant, but. Um, I understood them a lot more than the angsty teenage nonsense in the first game. Yeah, I can, I can, I can see that. I, I personally think the first game was better structured because the, the problem I had with the second game was that because you were constantly moving from location to location as part of yeah. the story, you didn't really get a lot of good... Like, you got a time to develop some of the characters, but not necessarily the location. Yeah. What I liked about the first the first game was that you would revisit areas, you would re-talk to people that you'd mm-hmm. seen before and they'd have new things to say or it, it, it kind of built that narrative. But like it was, yeah, this was like a it was like a road trip movie in a very interesting way. Yeah. yeah. I, but I certainly prefer this one. Um, I'll let Cameron talk about Dead Island because he's done nothing else with his pathetic life. What is that game? I can't read. River Bond. River Bond. All right, give me one second. His dog's are bark. I've had a busy week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think the odds are that he cuts this bit? Uh, he doesn't listen back to this stuff. It's yeah, I was going to say slim to none, so we, we could say whatever we want about it. I mean, it. like, even with my audio, I was just chucking a few, a few words here and there behind. <laughs> See what happens. No, he yep. won't pick up on it. Get some cat bells in there. I mean, like outtakes, we'll get some intro. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we've got some good outtakes this week. Hey. All right, have you come? Are you back to us now, yeah. hey, buddy? How are you? I, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I my dog needs me. surgery tomorrow. Oh, oh, just genuinely, she's getting well, her knees operated on. Oh. Unrelated to my. Why, why was I gonna say? I was gonna say why? Did you did you give her the bash? Like I didn't realize she was. <laughs> no, no, no. That she, um, that's that's terrible. The, her knees, the div. So, the divots for the socket aren't very deep, so they pop out. So that's need to um. go in and and deepen them a bit. Oh, good. Um, oh. yeah, Riverbond. Duh, that was terrible. That's a terrible game. Yeah, no, it's, it's like it's. I know we were talking about it, and we were like, "That's not a bad game. It's pretty." But like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, "Man, that was just a massive it waste of time." It was just a three-hour, four-hour, just this, the same uninteresting thing. Like it wasn't even. Yeah, there's it, go here. Yeah, hold there's there's wide. nothing to it. It's it's the most. It's one of the most milk toast games I've ever played in my entire yeah. life. It's not very good. Um, again, not awful terrible bottom 10 game I've ever played but there's just nothing to it yeah yeah agreed um, and finally I purchased and am playing the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution which is exactly the same as Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelists, the normal one except it's got a new campaign um, it's much more expensive yeah much more expensive but I still have a job so I can afford these things the finer things in yep. life. Hello, plane. <laughs> I think I'm getting bombed. Look, mate, no one's going to waste time bombing Darwin. They'd, they'd only do about 500 bucks worth of damage. Mate, we were most involved I, in I, World War Two. Yeah, I was going to say, Darwin's been bombed before. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They haven't fixed it since then. Ah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Alright, now that that's over with, um, yeah, and it's, it's, look, it's exactly the same. I've made my uh, Exodia deck, and I'm just proceeding to win every single every single duel using that. Uh, the only annoying thing is having to do all the different summon types, because it doesn't work in the tutorial. So, like, uh, there are decks, pre-built decks that you can use um, for XYZ, Pendulum, and... Tuna summon, synchro summons. Um, there is not a deck built for link summoning, so you just have to use the story deck of that first campaign. And I'm going to be perfectly honest; it was me throwing things on the field until I could do the specific summon I needed to do. 
I would just be like, okay, let's just put this out. Can I do it yet? No. Okay, let's put this out. Oh, good, I can do it now. I'm going to do it. Oh, I got the achievement. Quit. Because... <laughs> Yeah. Are the achievements different to the first game at all? Or? Nope. The only different thing is uh, the new campaign and a link summon, which is from the new campaign. So completing the new campaign yep. and uh, doing the specific summoning for that new style of, co- of uh, dueling. Um, I still still don't understand link summoning. It's you have you have to get, both you and your uh, opponent have to get on a motorcycle. I'm pretty sure. Well, one of you has to be Zelda, and then oh, okay. the other one... Yep, no, okay, yep, I yeah, see it. Then yep. the other one has to be Epona, and whichever one Link goes to, it summons. I don't know why. I don't no, know why. Link summoning is actually not that difficult. Essentially, each of the cards has an arrow, and yep. uh, it, of the eight directions, up, down, left, right, north... West, northeast. The cardinal yeah. directions, yeah. yes. And to link summon, the summon might require a left and a right, and you just have to okay. use the left and gotcha. the right, and then you can summon it. Okay. Like oh, it, okay. it's it is quite simple, but using the combos and and stuff is yeah. where things get complicated. Because I mean, I know when I play through the campaign, it'll be me waiting twenty minutes to get my turn because they're doing fifty thousand things. And then doing my turn, and then waiting for another twenty minutes because they're summoning and sacrificing oh, and tributing and then summoning and pulling stuff from the grave up. Like, yeah, it's just it's it's quite complicated. Um, like, I'm sure with that it would be fun with a tournament or something. But just hearing it, that for like it's a, not. you know, it's, uh, in, it's not. You know, okay, it's, I, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure the meta right now is Blue Eyes White Dragon, so everyone uses Blue Eyes White Dragon decks. Yeah. Okay, all right. Look, I have a question about Blue Eyes, all right? Yep. Now, as as a Yu-Gi-Oh aficionado, mm-hmm. I know that in, in, in the anime that they had... There were four Blue Eyes, and that was it, right? Yeah, and one got ripped up. Ripped up, My right? Blue so Eyes. why... What? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, little Karibo. Um, so why does Kaiba have a card that is three-headed one? Why should that exist? Why isn't there a four-headed one? Like, if you make four of the card, you, the logical thing would be that you would combine it into a four-headed hydro version made that of the card. One. I mean, how could he? He, he, he so bought he the like, card oh, company yeah. and made it. Oh, I mean, that's that's. I mean, that sounds how I'm fairly certain. That's I, don't, how I, don't, I don't know how that's legal. He just bought the card company and got them to make a three eyes, uh, three-headed blue eyes, ultimate dragon. Yeah, and is and. The guy was like, "All right, man, whatever you want, just just please right, just leave, keep leave paying me my family alone." Coronavirus, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there was no unemployment. You could have as many heads on the dragon as you want. And then he's like, "Yeah, man," and then put some like lightning behind it, and then also make it so that if if you destroy the card, like I get flung off the side of this castle. Yeah. Side note: Is is Yu Gi Oh Bridge still around? Is that still a thing? I uh, technically, yeah. I mean, I don't think he... the past first season. It might have, but as in was... like the first series. Oh no, I did. It, it went all the way. It went, yeah, it went through a lot. Yeah, when you said little Karibo before, I'm just like, is he is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Okay. He's, he's still I know alive. he had health problems. How long? But definitely right now. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's 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 where the car games or motorcycles joke yeah. came from. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's look. I really I should be doing other things and getting gaming score, but um, it's again, it's mindless fun, and I, I that's what I need right now is not seven mm-hmm. one hour games to boost my score I just need something I don't really need to think about and I can just play and feel like I'm accomplishing stuff without having to concentrate too much um, would you say you have a need to achieve yeah alright is it no, is it nostalgic huh is it nostalgic just ignoring match horrible joke absolutely not because I, don't know. I mean, if you listen to the story, sure. But then once you get past the first series, it's not because I mean, not. just playing <laughs> playing Yu Gi Oh though, because that was like one of the things I did growing up. Uh, I mean, yeah, in a way, I guess. I mean, I I did it as a kid as well, but mm-hmm. like, not. I don't know. It just when when I played the when I played um, Legacy of the Duelist, just the base one. I actually had a lot of fun 
I'm it. having fun. I'm just not not thinking much, which is nice. But I just I was surprised mm. is all. Oh right, my big complaint. Like when I pl- so previously you build your Exodia yeah. deck, and when you got it, you just flip the cards around, you'd win. Yeah. This time in this one, much like the, I'm pretty sure it was in that in the original version as well, you would summon specific cards and they'd have an animation. Um, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Mm -hmm. Red Eyes, Black Dragon. They all had a little animation when you summoned them. Um, Every time you summon Exodia, it is a 12-second animation. So, (laughs) at least in the first campaign, I know there's like 20 to 30 battles plus the reverse battles. So that's 60 battles at 12 seconds is 10 minutes. And that's best case. Yeah. Because you like to do the rest of the door. Yeah. So that's 10 minutes of cutscene. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's only the first campaign. Yeah. It's like watching the NFL. <laughs> Loading time still bad? Uh, I'm not noticeable for me on a 1X. Okay. Oh yeah, true. Pretty, true. pretty, pretty not noticeable. That it exists, but it's, it's, like you know, it's not ten seconds. It's shorter than the Exodia cutscene. I was gonna say, uh, make sure you ask um, Digital Foundry to check that on their new Series yeah. X. Um, but that means I've got three thousand one hundred and seventy-seven game score for the week. Um, and we did some Dead Island, but as I said, Cameron will talk about that, and I'll chime in where I can. Cool. All right, Cameron, you want to go next? Yeah, all good. Mate, all right, so we did away. Dead Island to finish. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had a I've had a flat out week. Um, the only chance I've actually had to play games is Dead Island and Battlefield Bad Company. Uh, in Bad Company, I'll go first with this one. Basically, just knocking achievements out of the campaign. Probably not going to work on multiplayer at this stage, but just trying to get as much of this mode over until. Uh, Alex fills up to helping me pop everything because yeah. how, how are you finding the campaign? I I got up to it's like a like a desert level I think where you have to go to free bases and take mm-hmm. take care of that. Um, I just mean like the only thing I and stuff or basically just destroy them clean and then the windows move take on care of them. One. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. No, all, all I could um, all I could hear was basically, oh yeah, Brad just going. It was done Dead Island, yeah. It's done Dead Island, yeah. <laughs> so don't ask me what happened in the campaign because I was basically just rushing through. Um, yeah, fair enough. I don't know how far I am to the end. I've got a few more achievements left, and then I've just got to go back and do some demolition and that. Um, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, like, had a bit more fun in the multiplayer than the campaign, but I mean, there is a five-year jump between the last time I played this, so yeah, yeah, it, it not, definitely not a new game, definitely not. Um, and then, yeah, the only other title I've really played this week is Dead Island with um, these lovable idiots. Oh boy, it's great! Sorry, sorry, um, sorry, and Matt fantastic. and Kirby, and then and then. The other lovable idiot. It's alright, I'm lovable. I mean... Tell me I'm lovable. Does that make me the idiot? <laughs> I'll let you um, decide that for yourselves. But, I mean... Uh, what, what can I say? Like, this has basically replaced Remnant, except we've got Kirby now. Which, uh, which is good. you fun to the party. Yeah, exactly. Because, basically, a, um, I mean... We were going with Remnant like one night a week and now this has suddenly become the game that we're doing every night that I have the chance to game, so it's good. Yeah, look, look, I'm I'm just gonna say, like, any excuse that we could have to get Brad to stop talking about his goddamn hunting game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I don't like, care. Look, about I'll what play I'll play just about anything here. but that damn hunting game. Yeah, like look, I've yeah, I've seen what he does with those That's animals. Really Alright, like I I don't want any part of that. I was really hoping Riptide would be on Game Pass just so we could. <laughs> I don't. We'll find something. We will find something. You want to do Bond? If, if we don't find something <laughs> with Brad, that's okay too. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's so that, basi- what's that? Um, what's that three-player co-op one that you did lockdown or something? The robot one. 
Oh yeah, um, uh, yes, yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Um, robots, the robot, the robot one, one yes, that has the, 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 the cop the and top, top down third person shooter. Was that a game as a gold? Uh, it was games. Uh, Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I I know. I yeah, know. definitely, it was because I'd bought it before it was games with gold, and I was very annoyed about. I know it. the one he's talking about, and I yeah. just can't think of the name either. Guarantee googling a uh, robot game will not. Three player robot game will not. Because it's it's an easy um, eight hundred gamer score for the most part, isn't it? And then the last uh, live lo- live lock. That's right? it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Lock. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good game actually. I mean, for you know a third person shooter, it's, oh, it's yeah, like top down shooter. It's quite good. Um, yeah, basically Dead Island. Uh, I mean, it's not the best thing. It's not the worst thing. Just, just Brad. it's awful. Just come out and say yeah. it. It was, it was like it's. I it's, mean, I'm, I mean, there's just fetch quests. But saying that, like the amount of times that we've just thrown gas tanks at each other and just. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I, I, like, I have not thrown okay. a single gas tank at anybody. That is you guys trying Matt, to kill each Matt's, other when I'm trying to play the damn Matt's game. Matt's trying to go for some sort of unattainable pacifist achievement. Yeah. Um, Look, no. Right. So, um, I, I, we all, I we all chose our four different characters because we needed that for the achievement, yeah. right? And so they left me with the throwing knives character, which is fine because I love that character. That's my favorite character. I love throwing the knives. Um, what this has led to is led to. Okay, so the first incident was I bought, had a blue weapon and I upgraded it with a shock mod, so it was electrical, and I threw it into a zombie. And then I got disconnected from the co-op. So I went, oh, God, oh, no, guys, can you go grab my blue weapon? And I went over to the body. It's not here. What? No, what, what do you mean? I just threw it into a zombie. It has to be there. Nah, there's no dead zombies here. It's not here. So I lost that. That was annoying. Um, much later, much later, uh... Uh, and I, because I knew I'd lo- be losing weapons as I'm throwing them, and it does way more da- damage when you throw them, threw one of my weapons, thought I'd been keeping track of them. Turns out I picked out picked up a different weapon at some point, and that replaced my quick bar, because I have my quick bar full of what I throw. Lost a purple weapon that way. Copped abuse from these three for losing my weapons. <laughs> Proceeded to not help because I didn't want to lose my weapons. <laughs> Yeah, not not, and when you say not help, not oh no, I stopped throwing them and I started hitting them normally like a regular person. Just not, not doing any kind Guys, of helpful action whatsoever. I, I want to throw, but you're all in the way. My 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 knives bounce off of you. I can't throw at this person. So just walk up and hit him. Yeah, nah, that's not my mo though. I, I don't know that I can do that. And yeah, then fun with gas tanks and uh, stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Because, Say, because if you throw a weapon at a gas tank, it explodes. Yes. Saying that, I, I just love the fact that I get back last night when we're exploring a new area in the sewers. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just talking to my partner, Nikita, um, and I'm just like looking at the screen, looking at the screen probably just two meters away, walk over, walk over, trying to make as little noise as possible. We hear, because I, we we hear, hear the talking. We hear a rustling. <laughs> That's what we hear. Because we heard I, the talking. Okay. Because I can just see Kirby there. Um, just arms up, ready to throw at me. Facing me. So I'm you, like clearly. facing me, and I'm like, "All right, cool. I'm going to I'm going to sit down quietly, and then I'm going to bolt." So I bolt here. Yeah, I bolt as fast as I can. But guess what's happening? Kirby's. He is the quickest <laughs> draw in the West. No, 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 no. He... Kirby blocked the door. Yeah, that was that's yeah, exactly. what the problem was. So I would have made it on time. He can't get through the door. And, but the problem is, because he's in the way, I can't throw my weapon either. So I said, buddy, you've got to crouch. That's your only option. <laughs> so he crouches. I that. Throw it. We both die. I was willing to take the sacrifice. Lose $1,400 each. But it was worth it for him to be trapped in a room with a gas tank and know what's going to happen to him. <laughs> the best thing was that... That is that you spent like five minutes trying to set the gas tank up perfectly while he was away from away from the controller. You're like, okay, hang on, I gotta I gotta put it slightly behind him, so that when he comes back, he doesn't look down and yeah. see it. And oh, if it's in there, and I can't just... get the angle right for throwing, so I need to, I need to. And it was, do I go and get it now? Because he, surely he's coming back in like two seconds. Surely he's back by now. Okay, I'm gonna go quickly grab it. I'm gonna step, throw. It. <laughs> 
oh, it's not really great. I'm, oh, but he's going to come. So the dilemma of whether to go pick up the explosive canister so that I could throw the knife and kill us both with it. Oh, man. The, the, the fact... Yes, the, so, so there's, a, there's a reason we haven't finished the second act yet. Yeah. The fact that's that still the it? second act? No. We're still in the oh, second geez. act. We haven't even got to the jungle yet. Oh, the, okay. Quest, so I thought the sewer bit was act three. There's only three acts um, with the jungle no. being the third. This, this, the th- well, there's four acts because the fourth bit. Oh, prison. F- the prison. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's what I forgot about. But the prison's short, so it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, it's um, short. Yeah. I was going to say though, the the fact is that you took probably ten minutes to set that up, killed us both, and then that gas tank respawned basically. <laughs> 10 <laughs> seconds after and I got my revenge <laughs> almost instantly yeah, it was great yeah. and it's always what, what? yeah so Sorry. I got caught I got caught in the crosfire of that quite a bit whilst always uh, um, also taking out Brad yeah there's yes, a lot of absolutely which he was very a lot of fighting zombies hearing clang 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 run 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 into the zombies it's safer there it's safer in the zombies <laughs> but um and, and Brad Brad is always is always very happy to get blown up. He doesn't have any problems with it whatsoever. No, nor does he have problems with watching the cutscene. No, he's oh. about to say no issues it's, watching the it's, cutscene. It's so interesting, yeah. When you have three people that purely just, you know, we're, we're, we're speed running through it. We just want the achievements, and they get to a cutscene. We've cut done scene. this before. It, and no. Brad's, just, Brad's just like Brad's like, oh, I'm interested in the story, mate. What story? <laughs> They're zombies. We it's kill the game them. where you kill zombies. You know what? Yeah, exactly. You hit. We need to get him on next week's episode after we've completed this. Oh, sorry, the week after we've completed this, and then he's going to give us an entire run through of the story that we've supposedly all sat through. That's the thing is that we have we are sitting through it. I still don't remember any. Yeah, of it. same. Um. Anyway, yeah. So that's Dead Island. I'm sure when we get to the arena, we're going to be having so much fun. Oh, you got that to look forward to, yeah. Yep. Um, I've tried to do a little bit of it. It's just, yeah, bloody suicide after another. Um, then the other thing that I forgot to mention here was I did um, partake in a little bit of Road Rage last week. I, oh, the motorcycle game? The motorcycle game, to which I quickly came around to the realisation that none of the achievements was popping. And I couldn't pick whether it's just a horrible game or the fact of the achievements weren't working. So I left it, and then I got um, 275 gamer score retroactively pop after. Yeah, because that's... So now you have to recover that. I have to do it. Saying that, though, I did the exact same thing with FIFA, and nothing pops. And now that achievement is discontinued again, so thank (laughs) God nothing pops. (laughs) Oof. I was, I was kind of like, oh, yeah, we'll just stop. No, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> but um, basically, 675 the week. It's been absolutely hectic every other aspect of my life. So, yeah. Yep, fair enough. All right. I think that just leaves me. So I'll rattle through this stuff pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, I've also played some Lazy Galaxy, as uh, as Chin mentioned. Yeah, it's like it's a it's a fine enough game for an hour because you got to do two playthroughs of it. But then they just tack on three hours of grinding for some reason. Like I just I just don't get it. And also like the dialogue between the characters is not interesting or good in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I did a Super Destronaut Land Wars. You know, it's fine, first person shooter. Uh, make sure you read the achievements carefully. Uh, the there's one for doing three hundred thousand in normal mode, and then one for doing thirty thousand in hard mode. I did three hundred thousand in hard mode because I misread it. Uh, not that it's very difficult, but I did just waste a good like extra ten minutes of my life. Also finished up Remothered, which I mentioned last week. That game is actually pretty spooky. Um, I think yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing you play through this game. Yeah, I'm really glad I dived it, knowing yeah that it was yeah you're gonna have spooky. you're gonna have a great time. Mm-hmm. Uh, like it, it's it's actually it does have some real potential because it is very much like Clock Tower where. There's not really set pathing for the for the characters, so like you might get a real easy. Like I was relatively lucky with most of my parts of it, where I was like, okay, there's like three three or four levels of the house, mm-hmm. and the guy usually ends up on the bottom floor a lot of the time. So I was able to sneak through most of the game un un you know unattacked or unnoticed, which was fine. I was like, oh, as long as I'm sneaking and they're downstairs, then they're not going to find me ever. Yeah. But like you know there's only one way up or down and like if you're going oh I'm gonna go down and you run right into them that's oh boy like 
the, the, the few times you do run into them are absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Music change. All, um, that, all that jazz. Yeah. Awesome. It's, yeah, absolutely. Like, and yeah, scare chords all the way through it. Like, it's very, like, yeah. Great. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it is a quintessential horror game, for sure. Uh, I still have no idea what's going on with the story. It's something to do with what's, this weird Swedish people. I just don't, I don't get it. It doesn't... Ask Brad. The ending is... Yeah, yeah, Brad will know, actually. You're right. Um, but yeah, I've talked to a few people about it, and no one knows what's going on, so at least it's not just yeah. me. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you know when I play it uh, what the story is, because I'll definitely have been paying attention. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I also played uh, Riverbond, the the um, the update, that, like you talked about. Mm. Super simple. I had to kill a couple extra slimes or whatever, but pretty easy. Um, I just finished up uh, tonight uh, The Sojourn. Oh, mm-hmm. Sojourn, whatever. Sojourn? Yeah, um, really good first-person puzzle game, but it gets hard really quickly. Yeah. Like, because there's a lot of... Okay, like, there are statues you can swap places with, there are mirrors you can turn, and you have to go between a dark and a light world, mm-hmm. and you can only swap between stuff when you're in the dark world, and there are portals you can go through. Like, they, they add mechanics on mechanics on mechanics. Like, it is very much the traditional sort of thing portal-esque sort of thing around mostly around positioning and setting up um, puzzles and time like some of it's timing based but most of it is just trying to come up with a solution of like okay I need to to be able to do this over here so I need to set this up and just sort of working your way back that said there is a very good uh, video guide of the whole game in 3 3 hours and 45 minutes uh, from Achievement Squad so I would recommend just following that because most of the maps I think there's like maybe 60 maps in the game, 60 puzzles in the game. Mm-hmm. And about, I say 40, 40, about 45 of them have like a bonus. So once you've finished the main puzzle, you can leave the map or you can turn around and they'll add an extra element to the puzzle to get like this thing called a merit. Oh, okay. And you need to collect all 46 merits. So it's like, okay, cool. You did the puzzle. Now do a alternate version of it where we've changed up some of the things we've added a thing in here or you know, we've added an extra harp here to build some... Yeah. So I would just say follow the video. It's really, really good. Um, the guy narrates it the whole way through, so even if you're not paying 100% attention to it, you can just kind of follow the, the audio instructions and get most of the way through it. Yeah. But yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But yeah, it was, it was a good game, and the achievements aren't too hard, so... Uh, I also played through... I have also went back to Far Cry 5 this week. Wanted to finish up the base game, so I uh, double boxed the multiplayer, which the multiplayer is really finicky around what it counts as a. a uh, so I set up a private match to get 100 kills, which is easy. You do, uh, I think it's called like shovel something or other, shovel attack. Mm-hmm. Oh, and so yeah. you're both on, you're both on one side of, on on each on a side of a uh, in a square arena, and you have a shovel, and they just keep respawning. You just keep throwing them at each other. It's like dodgeball, except much more deadly and very little dodging. Yeah, very little dodging because they're just standing there. So I got my 100 kills on that nice and easy, but the wins only counted if I set it up on a public lobby and set it like set the filters really, really stringently to featured and then set up a map. So I just did 10 different maps to, because I was having trouble with the, getting the achievement to progress the track. But th- there is an in-game... Uh, sorry, there is a achievement. The achievements do track on the tracker, so you can actually get an idea of what's working and what mm-hmm. isn't. But yeah... Um, Fine enough. Fine. Like the arcade mode, like actually, I had a lot of fun with it because you also have to play ten featured maps in single player or co-op. So I just started playing through a few of them, and there was one that was essentially a, it was essentially like some cyberpunk thing where the options are, uh, I think it was like total annihilation, where you, where you get like a weapon set like your Judge Dread, and the other one is called Decked, where you get like a silence pistol and stuff like you're in uh, Blade Runner. Mm-hmm. And you essentially like it, it's like a sort of mini scripted game where it, you just sort of drive vehicles and sneak around and shoot stuff, and it's all very neon and blue and purple. And like well, they obviously use a lot of like blood dragon assets and that sort of stuff. I actually had quite a bit of fun with it. Like I could have, I could have just picked like the same one and just done it ten times really quickly. But I actually wanted to enjoy a little bit of it and had a really cool time because some some of them were custom builds from Ubisoft themselves. They they made their own little arcade levels, but some of them ones made by the community. And there was one really interesting puzzle one that I did. Uh, and they, they kind of have this, like, sort of mini-story-related stuff in there as well. Like, they, 
can't really do narrative, but they do it, you know, through location and they had, they basically one that was kind of like Quantum Leap or like Looper, no, not Looper, uh, Jumper. Oh yeah, yeah. Where you're like you're, you're in one area, you run through a door, and suddenly you're in a totally different area. You've got to try and like get from one end to the other. And then you turn into Darth Vader, right? Yeah, that's yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then so I did that. I did the rest of the base game, which essentially was completing the last couple of hunting challenges and do some fishing, which was nice and relaxing. And then a couple of little stunt races around, you know, driving ATVs while you're on fire through hoops and stuff. Uh, I've still got the infamous difficulty to go, which is the hardest difficulty, but you do it on New Game Plus, so you can keep all your weapons. And the cool thing is that if you've done the Mars DLC, you get to keep the laser pistol, which kills everything in one yep. hit. Which is great. And then you uh, But it does right mean you need end. to basically play <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what yeah, so I'm gonna we'll, we'll see, I'm gonna take bet I'm gonna take lots on who uh who's gonna be my person that I take to get the achievement with. Um I am taking offers, the highest bidder will win. Uh, and I'm also I've also started the zombie DLC. I'll kick Cameron off the is... podcast. Oh, okay. Well, there you I'll go. I'll kick Kirby off his own podcast. <laughs> Cameron's like, I'll leave the podcast voluntarily. <laughs> tough call. Tough call. <laughs> Volunteer tribute. Yeah, so I also started the zombie DLC, which is essentially just a some massive zombie nerd guy going around pitching uh, his version of zombie movies to directors and trying to tailor it to what they want. So the first one was like a typical like alien invasion on a farm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And so the first one is him being like, yeah, it's, a, it's like an alien invasion on a farm, and there's one guy, one farmer with a shotgun who has to stop them. But it's just like a zombie movie. Yeah. And then the second one was, um, like a, it was like a war, like one of those, you know, like Band of Brothers kind of war movies where it's like, yeah, the only way we're going to live is to survive. Mm-hmm. Have you done the car and, one? Yeah, and so I haven't done the car one yet, so I thought. I, the last one I, I did was the Romeo and Juliet okay. one, which is which was pretty good actually. We you um, and I will have to get together because I know the car one is much easier in co-op because you don't you have someone on the gun, you don't have to keep swapping. Right. Um. Yeah. And then that way, and I'm just, how many have you done? There's like ten maps, yeah. Yeah, there's like there's seven maps, and I, I I know you have to run through them on story mode to start with, and then you have to do the um the trials for the gold medals. Yeah. So I'm just running through them on story mode, and then I need to team up with you for for the uh, the gold medal yeah. stuff. Yeah, because what I what we'll do is, um, I will host because it, it's host. You can do it in co op, but only the host will pop the achievement. So because ah, I've done right. the gun one and gotten gold, or the car one, sorry, if we leave that till last for the trial, and I host the rest of them, when we. Yeah, finish yeah, those gotcha. six then I'll we can get do it. it on my one we swap yep. for the last one and then you'll get it yeah gotcha cool yeah so it's um hey I'm, I'm enjoying it like it's kind of like funny like I'd be interested to see what the other pitches are they all look pretty hilarious they look like there was one about climate change and one about driving and yeah mm-hmm. um but yeah like Far Cry 5 looks it's still like a really really fun game um I think overall it's probably a better game than the the one they did uh, was it last year New Dawn or whatever it was yeah Far Cry New Dawn yeah and then the, the, apparently the rumour is that the new one that, that Ubisoft is bringing out this year is going to be another Far Cry game yeah it's, um, it's, un, it's un, unannounced but um, Jason Schreier over at Kotaku basically confirmed that it was going to be because Ubisoft basically came out on a conference call recently saying that they were going to have five games yeah. this year so the five games were going to be um, uh Legion, uh, God, Gods and Monsters. Gods and Monsters. Uh, yeah, Watch Dogs Legion. Um, what's the other one that I delayed? Not Beyond Good and Evil. Uh, or Rain, uh, like Tom Clancy Rainbow. one. Rainbow. Uh, oh no, yeah, was it was no, it was yeah, a quarantine. Yeah, well, geez, well actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe that maybe yeah, that should be six, delayed a bit long. <laughs> uh, and then they had two unannounced projects, which basically, as soon as they said they were confirmed to be um, the new Assassin's Creed Vikings. Mm-hmm. And the uh, and a new um, Far Cry, a new Far Cry, yeah. and the, the talk is, I mean, as always, they're still talking about new Splinter Cell, but we'll see if that ever happens. Ever, they keep teasing it. They keep putting Sam Fisher in other games. Apparently, he's going to be in um, the new uh, Breakpoint uh, in Ghost Recon again. So, jeez, they keep they keep trying to make that game work. Look, I mean, that could be our next game. 
Oh. It might be, but it could be. <laughs> I mean, That's if, right. That technically, I mean, it could be. if we're if we're gonna do one, if we're gonna do one, we're gonna do um, we'll do the previous one. Um, yeah. Recon. Wildlands. Wildlands. Okay, I've actually got Wildlands, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, me too. So Ditto. we should do Wildlands. Actually, that's a great idea. Um, and then, yeah, like you said, we've been playing Dead Island Definitive Edition. Um, I don't know what's definitive about it. I mean, the only my only hope is that by definitive, they mean they'll never make the game again. Like, that they're finally done with it. Um, because them reanimating this corpse has been absolutely atrocious. Like, I, I did not enjoy the game the first time I went through it, and I'm really not enjoying it this time. Uh, especially now that I'm, I'm basically double dipping it and going like well got to earn all these achievements again um, but yeah like you said it is our replacement for Remnant now that we're done with that um, mm-hmm. still awful buggy unbalanced durability mechanics are the worst so many fetch quests oh that's right uh, when you throw awful. weapons they don't lose durability unless like you miss and they hit the ground so even more reason to throw yeah exactly <sighs> um, yeah the only of course the only yeah, the only saving grace is I'm playing it's hilarious to play with you idiots mm-hmm. Uh, but if I was doing it solo, I probably wouldn't have started it. Yeah. I mean, like, us blowing each other up every five seconds is enough entertainment to last a lifetime. It's very funny. It is very funny. And you guys are very good at pointing out the collectibles, so that does help. Me uh, me being on mute, finishing a couple quests, going, guys, I lost one of my purple weapons, realizing I was on mute, <laughs> unmuted. First thing, guys, I lost one of my purple weapons. <laughs> I said this earlier, you and didn't you hear me. you got exactly. Tough luck! Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we, yeah, we, we we gave you the attention you deserved, yeah. which was none. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is. I'm like, uh, in spite in spite of every problem it has, I am actually enjoying it. Mm. Uh, so that that puts me at three thousand three hundred and seventy this week, which is a good week for me. Saying that too, before we move on from Dead Island, if anybody does need like just uh, join for fifteen minutes and play with somebody achievement, I usually just leave it running up at the moment. Yeah, but can we just join like that? I'm pretty. You can, yeah, yeah, Alex. That's, Alex that's, said that's yesterday. What, that's what. I, that's what. And that's yeah. That's what Alex and I did yesterday. Okay. It's purely there, just left there for that purpose. Yeah. Awesome. All right. All right. All right let's um. Let's get into some of the sales. Looks like we have got some stuff going on. Yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, adding and leaving Game Pass as we near the end of the month. Uh, we obviously already had our mid-month loss of Shenmue and. Deus Ex and uh, Lick Spear and whatever else. Uh, we do have some stuff being added. We have uh, Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown on the console. Uh, that's already in March 19th. Good job, me. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, it obviously came out in between recordings because, of course, day after? Yeah. Pretty much? Yeah. Awesome. Day after. Of course. Of course it did. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorry. I've listed these in here of yeah. ones that we, we didn't mention yeah. last week. Yeah, Kona on the console, March 19th. Don't drink the water. Uh, yep. The Surge 2 on console and PC, and it did get a Win 10 stack. So, oh, you nice. stack those achievements, March 19th. Uh, Bleeding Edge, the beta released. No, not the beta, full release. No, I think it's the full yeah, game now. Yeah, because it just came yeah. out yeah. today. But the betas, um, the progress in the beta carries across yes. for the achievements. Your, beta, your achievement yeah. progress for the beta carries over, um, but the full game's released. Uh, from what I hear, it's a not as good melee Overwatch that requires more communication than Overwatch. Yeah, which means it's going to be even harder to play through. But apparently, the achievements are easy for, for now. now. It is it's very likely looking one of those games that you would add achievements, much like Rome Royale, how you would add achievements to that. High res, add achievements to that. <laughs> don't, don't you dare! Don't do it. Don't add, do I mean, easy I, achievements. Yeah, I, I'd go back to that. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. fine. Just don't like want any Overwatch kills. achievements lifetime um Mm -hmm. and uh power rangers battle for the grid on console and pc just recently march 24th um i i don't know is that play anywhere or is that uh i don't oh yeah i think it is because i don't think it has okay that could be good because i know the ranked boosting is pretty terrible like the ranked matchmaking i think you genuinely only matchmake with other people at your rank so um, oh, I, I think there might be tiers of say gold, silver, whatever, but you only will match with golds. And as soon as you get into platinum, um, you won't match with golds anymore. So if you've got a dummy account that's a gold, you won't be able to find it anymore. You, have, you only match wow, up with okay. platinums. So as you get higher, obviously the, because no one's playing it as well, the pool gets really small really quick. Um, 
But yeah, those are... Mm. I, I wouldn't recommend that fight in-game, but the other ones, Surge 2 is probably pretty good. Kona's all right. Ace Combat 7 is definitely there for someone. It looks quite it difficult. It's a very sure. difficult completion. Um, who was it that... Sorry, who was it the other day that was going... Somebody in the Discord was jumping up and down? Yeah, uh, Cinatoli, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, the, I think it was in Macca's top 10 hardest completions of 2019. So, Poor yeah, boy. Yeah. Just because grind and skill... Yeah, it's it's got it's got everything. Yeah. It slices, it dices. Uh, stuff leaving. We don't have a date yet, but we're expecting end of the month. Uh, Borderlands two and the pre sequel, so the Handsome Collection, uh, Lego Worlds, Operencia, the Stolen Sun, the Golf Club two. Do I own that through Game Pass? Maybe I don't know. Uh, Vampire. Uh, this game's Cities gold. Got, what? This game's gold. Golf Club two. Yeah, Golf Club two. No, that twenty nineteen was Games of Gold. Uh, was it? Yes. Okay. Maybe. One of them was. I, I mean, look at it. I'm, I'm half retract my like, statement. I may have purchased it. I'm pretty sure it was no, because it launched into. No, it didn't launch into Games of Gold, but it, yeah, it went. The 2019 went Games of Gold, so essentially Golf Club right. Three. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Vampire City Skylines, uh, Battle Chef Brigade, which was PC only and really should have been on Xbox because that's a fantastic game. Kingsway, PC only probably as well. Oh, what? All well, keeping yep. an eye on you was on PC Game Pass. Yep, it was, but no achievement. That's fine. I would have played it. That I was looking forward to that game, and then I'd stop caring because I, like, this was ages ago, before it was like. Because you didn't. What you're saying is you didn't keep your no. eye on it. But I know it was one of those games I'd enjoy because it's spying on people, and it's 19. 19- 84. I, I was going to say, I know nothing yeah. about this game, but is this meant to be 1984 in a yeah. game? Yeah, all, all well, 1984 yes. inspired. Always George Orwell wrote, yeah. Yes. Well, have you, have you played, a, um, was it Observer? No, not Observer. Uh, um, the whole Beholder. Bit, yeah. Uh, I dived it. I haven't played much of it. It yeah, me feels too. a little bit too management, management-y. For, yeah, I know what you mean. I was, I was expecting it to be a bit more interesting, yeah. but it is kind of, yeah. Um... Moving on from that, the games that are on sale this week, uh, Aboriginus is 35% off, $3.24. Ailment is 20% off, $7.99. Apocalypsis, the tree of knowledge of good of e- good and evil. Uh, sorry, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. My apologies. <laughs> I yeah. shouldn't have stuffed up. I'm sorry for that. It's 50% off, $2.49. Ascendance, First Horizon, 40% off, $3.59. Ginger Beyond the Crystal, sixty five percent off, six ninety nine. Believe his name's Arnold. Um, <laughs> guns and gl- guts and glory, seventy five percent off, three dollars seventy four. Eye Zombie, fifty percent off, dollar ninety nine. Lost Artifacts Soulstone, forty percent off, five dollars ninety nine. I think a new Lost Artifacts game. It is today? Yeah, the the list just yeah. got released today. I think. All right. Uh, Outbreak, The Nightmare Chronicles, 50% off, $2.49. And Queen's Quest Four Sacred Truce, 50% off, $7.49. That does not often go on sale. Yeah. No, and, but they're starting I'm, to do that. I'm not buying games, but there's... The... Yeah, I think, I think they've realised they have to do the 50% sale now before people to buy Artifacts Monday games. Yeah. So, uh, recommendation. Matt, Matt, you're the only one with it at the moment. I'll see if I can quickly scope out something. Yeah, I've, I've so got my, one. my recommend... My recommendation is uh, DMC Devil May Cry Definitive Edition. So DM, sorry, DMC colon Devil May Cry colon Definitive Edition. Yeah. Oh, um, sixty-seven percent off, nine dollars eighty-nine. Uh, it's got a relatively high TA. I think it's about four point zero ratio on it. But the game itself is not actually that difficult. There are definitely challenges in there, but it's definitely the easiest uh, Devil May Cry outside of maybe two. Um, I, I finished it both on the 360 and the one version, so if I can do it, you can too. Yeah, no. Uh, Cameron, what about you? Uh, I've got two. Uh, yes, it does. Yeah, no. It's like, but it, but it gives you three orbs for Hell and Hell, and the checkpointing is really, really good too. So it's okay. like it's it's not even an oh, issue. The, okay, I thought it was supposed to be no, essentially no checkpointing for Hell and Hell. Uh, well, sorry, no, I think you can also use Devil Trigger the entire time if you do oh. the certain thing. 
So okay. like it's like it's a it's basically a non issue for the okay. most part. Like there are some tricky bosses, but yeah, like I had, I didn't have much trouble with it at all. I mean, like you're obviously not going to get a great score, but like if you're just after the achievements, you can do yeah. it. Okay, cool. You, cool. you do have to play through it a few times though, as most of my games. Yes. Yeah. Um, I've got two. I just want to double check: is World War Z still in Game Pass, or is that left? Uh, I think it's still in it there. Was, it was leaving. I think it will yeah. leave soon. Okay. Well, that's 75% off for nine ninety nine, and that's a game that I hear very good things about. It was a surprise, I don't want to say hit, but did a lot better than, I guess, most movie title ties in, uh, tie-in goes. I think it's because um, it's not related at all, aside from the title. <laughs> I mean, that was basically like the movie, too, in, yeah. in terms of the source material. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. So, just keeping with the trend. And then past that, I mean, like, that's probably one that I would recommend that we probably go to next uh yeah i don't know if i have 200 plus hour completion uh, time okay yeah i don't know about that yeah. I, I mean i've dived it but i think i'll be playing by myself uh, isn't there co-op there is Chavons? okay you just don't want to play me but i mean not just you i mean okay you, okay no, no, sorry let me rephrase it <laughs> yes, any, just, any yes just you if it's, okay i don't cool. want to play with just you as long as as long as you're clear um and the other one I would recommend is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, um, purely just because, like, 75% off for fourteen ninety nine, purely because I am so fascinated and so intrigued by Greek mythology. Um, I mean, I have a daughter named after a Greek goddess. That pretty much tells you enough about me. I used to want to be an archaeologist growing up, so I just, I love, I love this. Origins didn't really sell to me as much, but... Odyssey is just amazing. I need to get back into it. Well, on the plus side, Cameron, you'll be able to uh, sweep through the wreckages of our current civilization very shortly. Well, that's always a plus now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've got Odyssey uh, sitting here, and I, I think it, that might be my quarantine game, actually. We'll see. I mean, you missed out on story mode achievements, but... Uh, not achievements, yeah. um, XP boosts, but... Yeah, well, that's fine. Just I'll, I'll, I'll just pay Ubisoft for their uh, XP booster, right? Yeah. That'll solve the whole problem. And everything yeah. scales anyway, so it's not... Yeah, it doesn't yeah. help that much. Mm. But, um, yeah, what about you, Kirby? Um, look, it's not, not a quick completion, nor have I actually started it, but I definitely own it. Uh, Puyo Puyo Champions. It's about 50, 60 hours, um, but it's it's Tetris, but better. That's it. Sure, let's go that's with that. all you need to know. It's Tetris, but better. Alright, done. It's, te- it's, te- it's definitely Tetris, but cu- but cuter. That's for yeah. sure. Done. Moving on. Nothing good new is coming. Oh, next Tuesday there is um, the new Wales Interactive game, Complex. And I assume okay. it's um, FMV, but I FMV. don't know for sure. I haven't looked into it at all. But yeah, there's that. Yeah, it, it looks like we're you know we had our Doom release and now we're going back into the doldrums, right? Yeah, yeah, it kind of culling. Okay, so apparently Complex is FMV. Awesome, that's yeah, good game then. Look forward to it. Mm. Great. Um, yeah, I'll have to maybe, maybe we can get a review code for that. That'd be cool. Yeah, uh, I can try. Whales don't really like us, but don't know why. Whales. <laughs> All right. Um, Milestones. Yes. I did them. So. Did you do them last week? You did, thank oh. you. No, That's we did fine. not. Um, I forgot to do them, so I'm like, ah, uh, hope they did them. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. No, we did not. It was a short show last week, uh, but you wouldn't know you didn't listen to it. I saw how, I, I, I so, saw uh, how little <laughs> I had to cut. And... <laughs> so, we have uh, Mr. X Povos himself is now in the top 500 of uh, True Achievement Leaderboard for Strategy. Good job, Kronos. Yeah, thinking man, that uh, man. Whis- Whispering Clown has reached a new milestone of 600,000 TA score. Mate, if you're back in the country, you need to be helping me out with my uh, my Call of Duty Ghost. <laughs> don't don't be avoiding my messages. <laughs> I know you listen to this. Uh, Waka Peel has reached a new milestone of 700,000 gamer score. McLovin Legend 1 has reached a new milestone of 1 million true achievement score. That's pretty impressive. Uh, Dark Lord Davis has reached a new milestone of 100 completed games. Jimbot UK has reached a new milestone of 500 completed games. Space is the Grave has reached a new milestone of 500,000 gamer score. Halfway there, buddy. Uh, Jimbot UK has reached a new milestone of 
23,000 achievements won. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, Whispering Clown has reached a new milestone of 400,000 gamer score. And Big L is now in the top 50 for gamer score leaderboards for Connect Required. So I don't know if you should be congratulated for that, Big L. Yeah, that, that means you still own a Connect. Yeah, I mean, I still own a Connect, but I have exactly one game for it. And <laughs> guess what? Guess what game shot off my crab list? Your Connect game. Is it uh, the Black Eyed Peas Experience? Uh, no, it is not. It's it's Connect Adventures, the one that came oh. with the pack. Oh, it. God. The one you basically go to a GameStop or EB and you find 10 copies there that they're practically giving oh. away. God, I wish I had just told them to keep the copy of the game. Like, yeah, well, I mean, I wish I never bought the Connect in the first place, but it is what it is. I have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 30 Connect games, exactly. Bodies under my uh, porch. If you want to contact us, you can email us at hello at realgamerscore.com. We love community questions. Feel free to send them to us, even if they're only tangentially game related. As you can probably tell, we are struggling to find stuff that's good to talk about because everything just seems to be a bit too doom and gloom mm-hmm. and the games have slowed down quite a bit so we're probably going to be talking about backlogs and more pointless speculation about a console that's not coming out for six months yeah. so we we love content we love hearing from the community uh, we do not necessarily me uh, Twitter you can get a hold of us at at Real Gamer Score, where you can talk to Cameron uh, Trimmy we can we, we see your messages keep it up I mean don't keep it up but you know maybe send them a message or two uh, Discord, as we mentioned, discord.io slash realgamerscore. You can come join the conversation. We've got people in there right now talking when they should be podcasting. Uh, and we also have uh, patreon.com slash realgamerscore if you want to give us some money so we can keep the lights on, run this stuff, um, pay for my singing lessons, but also help pay for like prizes and stuff like that for our competitions. Uh, and if you're interested in being on the show, make sure you contact, um, I'd say Chin at this mm-hmm. point. He'll probably help you out. Yeah, Alex is dead um, twice. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Alex does nothing. He's at home. There is no reason he's not here. <laughs> you just thought about it. <laughs> oh, no, mate. He's been found out. He's rubbing. Coronavirus is out of him. <laughs> okay, so that's like the last five times I've messaged him. Hey, you want your spot back? He's just gone. Yeah, no, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, he's real busy. Yeah, yeah. No, all right. He's not in that high on the uh, yeah, so... leaderboard or not <laughs> for us. Uh, yeah. What What is he doing? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so you can uh, make sure you send a talk, talk to Chen if you want to be on the show. Always like to have guests. Need, you know, because I mean, again, we we do still have lives very occasionally and do have to sub out. So we we are always interested in having more people on. But we also want to hear from you guys in the community with the questions and also get an idea of who you are, what games you play. Um, how you got into game score? You know, we do we do like to play twenty questions with everyone. Yeah. Um, if you want to help out the podcast, uh, as we mentioned, you can um, donate on Patreon or um, otherwise. You know, listening, telling your friends, retweeting our tweets, that sort of stuff. But so subscribe to us on YouTube, um, and also any subscriptions and reviews on things like iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeart Radio, that sort of thing. Uh, every little bit helps. We we do really want to get the word out there. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I know we joke about not putting on a super great quality show, but I do love doing the show with you guys, mm. um, and I'm hope and I'm hoping that the, the listeners are enjoying it as well. So, if you do enjoy it, please, please let other people know because we we want to try and get as many people in this community as possible. Even if you want to drop uh, some suggestions or yeah, anything as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we will prioritize people who pass money over the people who don't, but that's just capitalism, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're open to All changes right. and ideas and everything, like. None of us are so attached to a segment that we won't kill it. Just look at the reviews. <laughs> what reviews? All right. And, um, yeah, so, uh, Chen, where can people get in contact with you? All right. I can be found on Twitter, Discord, TrueAchievements.com, Xbox Live. Um, definitely not Mixer this weekend because I'm moving stuff out of a house. Maybe Sunday, but definitely not Saturday. Um, all under the tag Chin Doctor. That's C H I N D O C T A. Yeah, find me there. Have a chat. I will. I'm, I'm awake many hours of many nights. So, go for it. Cameron. 
Um, pretty much, I just want to preface by saying that everybody that's joined the Xbox Achievement Community on Facebook in the last week, I think we've got like 10 to 15 new people. Uh, thank you. I mean, the community is pretty inactive, but um, if you want to make posts for looking for group, that kind of stuff, feel free to. Even if you want to send me a private message, I can help you try and put you in the right direction of somebody that might be playing what you need. Um, past that, you can find me, Shadow Sage, on TA, on Twitter, on um, Xbox, sorry. And yeah, if you basically just want to get in, the, in touch with the Real Gamer School podcast, basically just hit me up on Twitter. It doesn't have to be just Trimmy. I'm okay. happy to talk to anybody. Trimmy, don't hit us up on Twitter. <laughs> Anyone but Trimmy. Oh uh, yeah, now I get the messages. So now I'm equally <laughs> as involved. Oh, and yeah, also I'm orange now. Like, just like Trump. <laughs> I don't think that's... Okay, that's not a brag point. Yep. <laughs> that's, yep. That's just, I'm not going to touch that. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's episode 84, so don't speak to me ever again. Um, you you definitely can't find me on Air Master on True Achievements or on Discord or on the Xbox. Uh, but if you do happen to see me on there... Um, I'm just going to pretend like I don't know you. Because chances are I probably don't know you and don't care about you, so... You know, just get lost. Cool, wrapping up the show. Yep. I'm done. Eve, we're done. <laughs> we we Peace. love you and Thanks, hate Thanks, guys. You. Yep, you know All what? at the it's, same time. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's slap kiss, slap kiss every week. Alright. Thanks, thanks, guys. We'll catch you next week. See ya. Catch us. Peace.